how to add text columns with images on the product page on Shopify. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can add text columns and images on your product page on Shopify. So if you go on to your Shopify account, so this is going to be your Shopify account, and you click on your online store and you view your store. And if I just go onto the catalog section, and go into the subcategory you can see that uh, there is no like section where you can add like images plus text on your actual product section so if you browse all products if you click on shop all or browse all of your products you can't really add text plus images at the bottom so like at the bottom of this product like i want to add text plus image column so there is not a default setting for you to add that but there is a simple and easy method that you can use to create this kind of column. Now, to get started with it, you're going to go under your Shopify account and I'm going to go through it with you guys step by step. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to log on to your Shopify account and then you're just going to click on online store over here. Now, once you click on online store, what you're going to do is you're going to click on actions and then you're going to click on duplicate. Now, the reason that you want to click on duplicate is to get a duplicate of your e-commerce store so if you mess anything up then you have the duplicate code that you can just copy and paste and then your website is going to be back as it was you don't necessarily have to do this but i would recommend it if you are already running your e-commerce store and you cannot risk messing it up so once you do that you're going to click on edit code and you might be wondering hey i don't know how to edit code and i am all confused i can't do this well don't worry whatsoever this is very simple and easy it does not require any experience you don't have to be like tech savvy to edit this code so once you click on edit code these are going to be a lot of sections so just to simplify it you can just minimize these details and these are going to be different sections of code and you're, what you're going to be actually doing is you're going to be uh, editing a section of the code Code. Now, don't worry, I'm going to show you guys how to do that. Now, what you're just going to do is you're going to click on the search bar over here and you're just going to search for product. Now, once you search for product, there are going to be quite a few different results. So what you're actually going to be looking for is your product dot liquid. So you can see over here, these are all of your product categories. So once you take a look at all of your products, so what you're going to do is you're going to go into your section section. Now, what you can do is click on add a new section and create an entirely new section, or you can just click on main dash product dot liquid. And what you're going to do is that you're just going to cut out this entire section over here so you're just going to delete this entire code and you might be wondering hey this is a lot of code well don't you worry you can just delete this section and what you can do in your sections is that you're going to search for product again in your sections and you can see all of your sections you're going to click on add a new section and then you can add this as text dash image and you're going to click on create section and once you do that, you're going to remove all of this preset code. And then what you're going to do is copy paste this code. So this is a code that you're going to be using. Now you can just copy it from here. You don't have to type this or anything. This is a very extensive code. All you have to do is copy and paste. So you're just going to click on paste over here. And once you do that, you're just going to click on save. Now, if there is an error in your code, uh, you're going to have to change up some of the errors. So there are two schemas that are incorrect. So I'm just going to fix those. And I think I might have made a mistake while I was copying. So that is why I have ran into this issue. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep the end schema. And I'm going to remove any of the excess text that I have over here. Just like that. I'm going to click on save now. Now I still have my error. So I'm going to have to take a deeper look onto the code so i'm gonna make sure that this link code is fixed when i link it down in the description box but we're just going to see where the error came from this might take a while okay so the schema tag cannot be empty so i'm just going to remove this and now i'm going to remove the end schema and now my asset has been saved. So uh, I removed some of the excess code that was present. Now, what you're going to do is once you save, you're going to click on settings over here and you're going to scroll down and you're going to go into your file section. 
and over here you can upload the images that you want to use and you can also upload any videos that you want to use so once you have your videos or images uploaded you're going to go back into your website and then what you're going to do is go back into your basic shopify dashboard and go into your online store over here so it might take a couple of extra seconds once you have just edited some of the code it usually does happen with shopify i have noticed that this has happened uh, quite a few times but it's not really that bad it only takes like one or two minutes to load up your online store so what you're just going to do now is you're going to click on customize over here and what you're going to do is you're going to go into your product section so you can just go on over here go into your products and you can just click on default product and what you're going to do is you're just going to click on add section and then you can find the section that you created so if it is a image text section you can just add it over here so for me i added it within the featured products lineup so it's going to be present over there but you can just add your section from over here and you're going to be able to uh, add image and text columns or image and text sections on your product list on Shopify. So that is how simple and easy it really is. Now, uh, it does work on most Shopify themes, but some themes like Dawn, like one of their new and popular themes is Dawn. Uh, it might not work on a theme like that because a theme like that has a lot of overlays and um, it, unless you're using jQuery, which is like a bypass app, you might not be able to uh, perfectly realign the new section so you might have to keep an eye out for that but for any previous kind of Shopify theme this method is going to work absolutely fine and I will leave the link to this code in the description box down below so, and you're now able to add your own image and text columns on your Shopify product pages we are about to end this video and to end it on a good note I would like to request you guys that if you found this video helpful or if you found this method exactly what you wanted or what you were looking for consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and sharing it with your friends and family who might learn a thing or two from this video or learn a thing or two from the hundreds of videos that we have on our channel and of course if you have any questions any queries about anything in this video or with related to our entire channel or any of our videos make sure to leave a comment down below and ask us what you want from our videos i tried to cover everything i could in this video but if you want to see more details of the methods or the ways in this video just let me know in the comments down below and I'll be sure to make more videos on your suggestions. At the end of the day, it's all about providing you guys with valuable content that could help instill a positive change in your life and hopefully your friend and family's life as well. And at the end, I would like to request you to make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel as it helps out our videos a lot. And again, thank you so much for watching. Till next time, goodbye.